thanks for coming out for just, as you know, a wonderful woman who at her core has a strong character whose life experiences have informed how she served in the Senate. And uh, I look forward to another four years for you, Lynn, in the state Senate. And we're fiscally moderate, even conservative. Show us the ROI on the taxpayer dollar. And Linda, from a business background, you've really carried that message. And uh, we have a pro-business mindset in our state. We understand that if you don't have jobs, if you don't have tax revenues, if you don't have profits on, this, on the uh, private side, you can't reinvest in your communities. And I just I want to pay tribute to you for the way in which you've carried yourself in the state senate and will continue to do so, hewing to the, those perspectives that Coloradans have. Oh, and what I learned in my race, and I think what Linda has practiced in her time uh, in the Senate, uh, is that Coloradans don't want something that says one thing in red parts of the state and another thing in blue parts of the state. And we know we have to work together here uh, to solve our problems, and we want people in these offices, whether they're at the state capitol uh, down the road or whether they're at the U.S. capitol, working <coughs> together. And they want to, the political games knocked off. And that is the spirit Linda has brought with a very business-minded approach to bipartisan work that she has done at the State House, and that's why it's so important for her to go back. Every door, almost, I go to, they are asking, why can't you just get along? Right. Why can't you just be bipartisan? Yeah. Why can't you look at the issues rather than the letter behind a person's name? Yeah. And so I have been <coughs> very proud of the record I've had. 97% of my bills that I've sponsored have been bipartisan. I don't know if another legislator can say that, but I am very, very grateful and proud of that because I believe that that is what the people want. That's what my district wants. That's what my constituents are telling me. I'm proud of that bipartisan work, and I'm hoping that we can lead the way in Colorado in being the most civil state in the union.